Hello again human beings from the planet Earth. It's time to test the solar dehydrator. So you see in front of me there it is and there's uh, my three monkeys. Isaac has the apples ready, Joseph has the test grate ready, and Zachary the oldest is here now. Before we open the cabinet boys let's show them if we can get in here what the temperature is. I'm not real good with this camera so be patient. Don't know if you can see it, but it says 105.5, which we've only been warming up for about an hour, and it wasn't in direct sun when we started, but we're going to start there. Zachary, go ahead and open the cabinet. Now you can see I've just put two simple turns on the sides. Turn it the other way, buddy. Let's show everybody once you're done. Okay, you got it? And Isaac is going to line up the apples. We're testing apples. And the rack is just temporary. We can fit a lot of racks in here, but this is our first one. And when we started, we started with the idea we were going to in the glass, which was retrieved from the property under brush and coming from late 60s, early 70s VW bus. So uh, it's working well. And we've done some things. I realized that the steel was getting extremely hot underneath. And so common sense told me I'm losing heat. So what I did was build a small air channel, poke holes through the steel that you can see. So we have air traveling on both sides of the steel into the air chamber. Now. If you had saw the former videos, you know that the air is coming in at the top of this box. You can see the triangle opening there. Our air is coming in, hot air is coming in there. It's coming into the cabinet and it's going out through a cavity built into the wall on the right side of the unit. And it's traveling through the wall cavity out this vent. Now we're using this to control the airflow, which controls the temperature. Uh, and this we're still playing with, obviously. Um, we want to get as much airflow as possible to increase drying time, but we have to maintain temperatures. So we're watching the cabinet, and I see now it's 104.2, so I know the air is moving too fast. We want to get it to at least 110 and try to maintain that. So I'm going to close this and just allow some air to flow. And uh, we'll come back here in a couple of hours. And again, the glass door, which in the videos I have seen, nobody did it. But now I can look, and my eye can tell me if those are done or, or pretty close to it, instead of opening the cabinet to check and wasting the heat and energy we've generated. So anyway, stop by the website. Link will be below to the handmade products page. Although we do intend to use this on the farm, we will be continuing after these tests to make smaller ones that will be for sale for anybody within the driving distance of Louisville, Kentucky. I don't have a price worked up, but I'm thinking it's going to be a couple hundred bucks, uh, 250 maybe, I'm not sure, but rough guesstimate. Um, good for a, a single family use. This, obviously, we're growing some food. We're hoping to work on this till we get to uh, temperatures appropriate for making our own jerky as well. And then one of those Bambies that we've seen out in those fields could end up in this cabinet on okay. one of these videos. So uh, anyway, much love. Happy Sunday to everybody. Good day to take a break, give thanks for what you have, and create something that you don't. See you on the next one. A couple hours, uh, we'll give you the test results. We'll let the Allen brothers try their dried apples on video, live, in front of millions of people all across the planet. What do you think about that, Isaac? Outstanding.